Following eight months of clashes between the Sudanese armed forces and rapid support forces, prompting more than 6.9 million people to seek refuge. The United States says it supports the recent acknowledgement of alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity in the country. The U.S. representative says ongoing efforts are channeled to investigating and ensuring accountability for these crimes. For too long in Sudan, perpetrators have killed, raped, and attacked civilians with impunity. The atrocities occurring today in Darfur are an ominous reminder of the prior genocide from the early 2000s. The United States applauded the recent announcement that alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity committed during the current fighting may be subject to investigation and prosecution before the International Criminal Court. The ICC Prosecutor's Office has announced that it has commenced focused investigations onto recent events. The ambassador at large emphasized that the United States continues to be the foremost contributor of humanitarian aid to the Sudanese. In terms of the humanitarian crisis, the United States remains the largest single donor of humanitarian assistance to the people of Sudan. We're providing nearly $895 million in total humanitarian assistance in fiscal year 2023 through USAID, through the Department of State's Bureau of Population, Refugees and Migration and other sources. This funding provides emergency food assistance, protection services, health care, nutrition support. Regarding the impact of Russia's Wagner Group in the Sahel region, the ambassador highlighted it as a criminal organization, emphasizing the need for Africa to resist and counter their influence. The United States has designated Wagner as a transnational criminal organization. Our message across the Sahel has been, do not invite Wagner in, do not assume that they are a solution to your security problems. The Global security is a crucial concern, requiring collective effort to safeguard the entire world. Uloma Oimachi, ITV News.